Hey everybody, welcome back with a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to use the clone stamp tool in HitFilm Pro right after the intro. So I am here in HitFilm Pro version 9 and I'm going to start a new composite shot over here. Uh, it's just 1920 by 1080, 25 frames per second. Um, and I have this clip over here which I will just insert um, and then I will adjust my timeline size because we won't need a timeline that long. And as you can see, there is a cigarette lying on the ground over here and I want to make sure that the cigarette is not in the shot. Um, and the way to do that is to use the clone stamp tool. Now the clone stamp tool is a very versatile effect that you can use in a lot of shots. I've used it in a lot of shots in uh, my latest short film as well to remove objects from the background. And I'm going to show you how it works. So the first thing that you want to do is to track the object that you want to remove. So what we'll do for that is create a new point. We'll just call that point for uh, the sake of to keep it simple and then I'll go to the clip and create a new track so now we're creating a new tracking uh, layer on this clip so what I'll do is move the tracking marker over make it quite big actually or make the tracking area quite big uh, something like this and I found that with this clip um, template match works better than optical flow I don't know why it just seems to work better and what I'll do then uh, I'm halfway in the clip so I will first track backwards and then track forwards to make sure that we get the entire clip tracked correctly so I will just click track backwards and you see that it is doing its job very well um, except for the last frame which uh, or the last two frames actually which you know makes sense because uh, it is moving out of frame so it can't really track correctly so for this one I need to move it manually and then move a frame back move this one up again okay so that is that then we'll go over here and click track forward and that seems to do its job quite well until the end which makes sense again and go frame forward you can go forward uh, a frame by clicking the full stop key and you can go a frame backwards by pressing the comma key so um, and then yeah, that seems to work about fine then for the purpose uh, you can just leave it on transform because that's what we want to do layer will set point so this means that it will apply all of the tracking data to that point layer we'll choose x position and y position click apply then if we go back to the viewer um, we should be able to see that the point is tracked perfectly to the cigarette laying on the ground so that is phenomenal I think this might have been one of the best tracks of my life so what we need to do then is create a, um, a a sort of mask for the clone stem tool to function correctly because that mask will tell the clone stem function uh, from where it needs to clone. So what I'll do for that is create a new plane layer, uh, just call this one plane, and I'll set its uh, properties to 100 by 100 pixels and set the color to black. Now I'll move halfway into the clip and add the plane to it. And you can see that the plane is a, a little bigger than the cigarette, which is great. What you want to do then is to position the plane layer next to uh, the part where you want to clone to, because the black plane layer will be its clone uh, source. So I'll place it next to it and then make sure to parent it to the point which just means that, as you can see, the plane layer now moves next to the cigarette laying on the ground, which is very nice over here. That's phenomenal. Okay, what we can do now is turn off the plane layer because we do not need to see it, of course. Now search for the clone stamp tool and add it to the video clip. 
And over here, I'll set the clone mask to the plane layer that we uh, made. And then you can go to the target field over here. Now the target field um, basically makes you able to tell where you want to clone to. So just take its position and move it to the left and you can see that it uh, actually copies the piece of footage that is originally here. It copies that over to the left so you can see that it covers it up like absolutely phenomenal. Okay. And that is almost the only thing that we need to do because you can scroll through your footage and for me it is it, it works so well that it I cannot see where the cigarette is supposed to be which is great that means that the effect works uh, I need to turn off the clone stamp tool to actually see where it originally was and it will go okay I hope that it will go okay at the beginning because yeah so that's the position right there you can see that even in the last frame it works correctly the last frame will probably not work as good or it might actually do work well oh so it actually seems to work very well at the end as well that's cool uh, sometimes at the beginning or the end of uh, your video clip it will not work as great because this plane layer over here as you can see moves out of the shot as well which can sometimes lead to the clone stamp tool not really functioning properly what you want to do then is go to the source properties and keyframe the position of the source and this will uh, enable you to fine-tune the position off that plane layer and make sure that the clone stamp tool works as it is supposed to work. So that is how to use the clone stamp effect in HitFilm Pro. Thank you for watching. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time with a new video. Bye bye. Hi there. Thanks for watching. Click here to see my latest video, click here to see a highlighted one, and click here to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already.